Hello guys, Gavin here at Hologram Productions. And in this video, I'll be taking you through some of the production techniques of Fortet. Now we know that Fortet really loves his plucky synths. So let's start by doing a cover version of LA Trance. I'll get as close as I can to the actual notes from the original song. Wavetable, sine wave, short attack, and a filter envelope with a short attack as well. Now give it some room by using delay, echo and reverb, sounding pretty close to the original now. Let's put the drum together using field recordings. You want to give it that organic feel. I recorded all of the stuff using my Zoom mic. I went to the music room in my school, took the mic and just started recording me banging loads of random objects. The sounds won't be perfect in raw form, you'll have to add an awful lot of audio effects after. This is pretty close to the MIDI line in the original track. Going by ear, I'd say the kick has a very heavy bass boost and most of the highs cut off. And the snare has this resonant knock to it. Drum bus, bass boost, saturation, and vinyl distortion. This is pretty close to the original. For the hats and vocals, let's just pull your samples from anywhere. Making strange noises. Let me explain anything. So let's make a shaker using a broken phone sound effect. I had to process the hell out of it, boost the volume, saturate it. Now let's get some atmospheric vox. That'll do, cut off the highs and add a ton of reverb, and you're golden. Cool, now the next step is really important because you have to make very careful choices when- nice, it, well, no, it's not done. You still have to do a whole. Nice, dumb, 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 dumb. Remember the Fortec Golden Rule? Don't be fussy. Now, to find some interesting drums, it's time to. Explore your VSTs. If you don't have VSTs and you don't want to pay for them, but you want to get really good drum samples, this is where being resourceful and begging, borrowing, and stealing comes in. And if you do have VSTs, find all the drum patches and the percussion patches and start exploring. This is called News Cool. It has some very intense analog sounding drums. Record a whole bunch of stuff and start scanning through your audio recordings to find some interesting loops. This to me sounds like a really interesting bass line. I found a nice transient in there I thought would make a nice kick. This is where getting creative with sample manipulation is essential for getting that Fortet sound. He likes to transpose up samples a lot. Fortet also has compiled a library of vinyl samples from which he gets these really interesting textures and loops them to make a bed sound. I'm going to attempt the same thing with this vinyl snippet here. This is where you got to dig into your samples, looping them, finding things which are interesting and textural. He will often have a kick pumping away in the background keeping it driving, but he'll have an awful lot of stuff off grid to give the music that organic feel that I mentioned. We're into raw creativity and experimentation at this point. I'm just finding what we have and seeing if we can create something interesting. Just fine tuning it, finding the groove and the swing that I like. your stuff is getting too busy, don't forget Fortet is very very keen on throwing a lot of stuff at the canvas and then scraping away afterwards. Okay, let's get a snare and a hi-hat then. No two hits should sound the same, move them off the grid, change the sound slightly on every hit. Getting this lovely glitchy, groovy sound. Even if it's not 100% sounding like Fortet, the techniques are the same. Use the slice mechanism in Simpler to create some interesting vocal slices. Don't forget your effects, echo, widener, whatever. Now I'm feeling the BPM needs to speed up. I want to make a roomy texture using the bass transposed up and a bit of reverb and echo. This is sounding really textural, really groovy, we're really hitting the sound now.
I still feel like I want to add a few more textural samples and I happen to have a library here from one of my own live sets including samples which I've programmed and created from scratch myself. And I know these samples are quite warm and have the right type of sound we're looking for. Yeah, a nice kind of vinyl sound just to put over everything. Because nothing's more important to Fortet than to have his textured drums. Now this loop I'm particularly proud of, this is a bunch of 808 toms and different octaves. Really fills out the groove very nicely this. This is enough to get my head bobbing. Now it's not Fortet unless it's got some sort of break beat sample. In fact to see how well we're doing, let's activate the Fortetometer and see how close we're getting. This is some really good stuff here. Definitely enough to flesh out to make a full track. <laughs> okay, let's do something else. Let's do a morning side sound alike. Simple edit away kick, nine and nine open the hi hat with the highs taken off. Click sound for the snare. Then another clap with the highs taken off. Get a nice lo-fi feeling this. Oh yeah, fourth head standard, you need to add some Indian flavor. He used a Bollywood record. I'm just gonna use the Life of Pi theme for simplicity. And a real shuffling drum loop as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this works, but we'll run with it for now. Let's do it four test things. Yep, he's like he's popping it away. Great, whilst we're on a roll, let's do one of his ambient track. Remember, pull samples from anywhere. Got a dulcimer sample. Again, another Fortet stable is to use a lot of reverse samples. Quit chucking a kalimba. Transpose it to the right key. Same key as the dulcimer. Don't forget to have the sound of kids playing in the background. Again, standard. C cut off the highs. Put on a nice poly saw pad. Don't draw this one in, you should play it out. Go with your instincts. Do another one for the bass. Do a triad chord but remove the middle note. It's not fully a forte track and we put in another plucky synth. Make it from scratch, adding in a few notes. Auto filter, LFO with the sawtooth, and high rate and an envelope. Effects to give it more room, echo, saturation, reverb, standard stuff. Let's check where we are on the forte headometer. <laughs> okay cool, that's quite a lot of techniques covered for now. You can see the Fortet can't be pinned down to any one sound. He's a very artistically free producer, which means that this should encourage you to get creative. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all again soon. Would you subscribe to the